you wrote an article about meeting uh, former Clippers owner Donald Sterling for the first time. Mm -hmm. And it gives you an incredible insight into who this guy really is. Yeah, I, um, it was a, it was a, a different experience. Um, he and, had you over to his house? I, he, has a, he had a party. Every year he has a white party in Malibu. And everybody has to wear white. If you don't wear white, yeah, it's, yeah. it's ironic. You, gotta, yeah. <laughs> you guys get it, right? Yeah. Uh, so you, you have, have to, to wear you white have to at wear the party. White. Yeah. When I, first, I gotta say, when I when, when I first heard about the article, they're like, he was having a white party. I'm like, you know, Whoa, this has been going on for this long. Yeah. Yeah. He was so, so blatant about it. Yeah. So everybody has to wear white, and he shows up in all black every time, right. all black. And because it's his party. Yeah, it's his which party. Which says like, a lot about. Yeah. yeah. So he like this is I'm brand new to LA, like 20 years old, and he introduces me to everybody. Um, by the hand, like he's, he's, you know, parading me around the party with my hand in his hand, like a grown man. Just picture a grown man, like, like walking behind, a, like a 75 year old man. I don't know how old he was at the time, but it was, uh, it was a little, it was a little weird. And at one point this guy just looked at me and goes, Hey man, just keep smiling. It'll all be over soon. <laughs> that's, I, that's what I did. I just kept smiling. You <laughs> <laughs> And he would say the same thing every time. Yeah. What I loved about the article is he would lead you up to a group of people, introduce you, and then ask you the same questions each yeah. time. Like, this was a vaudeville act that you guys Yeah, it's like, we re it's like we rehearsed it. He would be like, hey, everyone, this is Blake uh, Griffin. He's our, new, our newest star. He was drafted number one. And I'd be like, hey, how you doing? And, and he'd be like, and Blake, where are you from? And I'd be like, Oklahoma. And he'd be like, and what do you think about LA? And I'd be like, oh, it's, you know, it's cool, it's, it's awesome. And then he'd be like, and what about the girls in LA? And I'd be like, oh, they're cool too. And then he would just be like, all right, and grab my hand and go. <laughs> and then the same questions for the next people. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. So if you happen to be in like a different group and we, you would just have the same conversation. <laughs> <laughs> just deja vu. Now let's talk about your new owner, Steve Ballmer. He uh, introduced himself with this very fiery speech, very energetic yes. speech. And uh, you guys responded to that. You responded to Steve Ballmer's like enthusiasm and his energy. Yeah. And I mean, we loved it. I mean, it's it, the, the thing about it is, it's genuine. It's not like he's just doing this for a show. It's genuine. He wants. He loves basketball. He wants to win. He's. I think he's always wanted to own a, a, a NBA team, and and now he's had this opportunity, and and that energy is is contagious. So we we embrace that. Yeah. Because I know that some people online were taking his enthusiasm and trying to chop it together and sort of have fun with right. it. And you guys wanted to make the point that, no, no, this is great. This yeah. is just what we need. No, it's a great thing. And, and um, you know, we, we, we're not going to hide, hide from that and, and, and not be proud of our owner because, yeah. because he's that way. Because for a long time, we had a guy having white parties in Malibu. You know? <laughs>